Don't say shit. Don't say shit. Don't say it. 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 Matt, I think there is something you want to say. What is it? I can't tell you because I can't think it because I can't say it because I can't think it because I can't say it. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. Um, could you write it down? No. Could you draw it? No. Paint it? No. Sing it? No. Skywriting? No. Boggle tiles? No. Interpreted dance? No, because you'll be in danger if I say it. Danger from what? The Bye Bye Man. Why did you say it? I'm scared now. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay, no. All right, if we can handle this. It's just the two of us. It's just between the two of us. We can keep a secret. We just... Da David, what are you doing? Hmm? I was, I was tweeting. Tweeting what? The bottom man, specifically. Why would you do that? Chaotic neutral. The world. You've just doomed the world. Yeah, about that. Um, quick question. How did you hear about this word, bye-bye man? I heard about it from a movie. No, oh, a single little, like, one showing deep into YouTube video? No, it made about 20 million at the box office. Huh. And it's been lost media, it can't possibly be watched again? No, it's on Netflix. Hmm. And why were you watching this video? Because we were going to review it. Hmm. On a show on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And you don't think with all of that, this is public knowledge by now? You're dumb. We watched a movie today. The Bye Bye Man. The Bye Bye Man. Bye Bye Man. Bye Bye My Man. Bye Bye Man. Bye Bye My Man. Bye Bye Man. Sorry. Anyway, the um. We did that during rehearsal. Yeah. Just <laughs> had, had to, to get it, it out. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. You have likely heard of this movie which yeah. ironically means you're marked for death yeah. but we're, we're all fucked at this point yeah but lean into it so <laughs> so the uh is this my guillotine the bye bye man is a 2017 yes. uh horror movie in theory that works on the concept of a monster not like a, idea. Not a ritual, but the idea, a.k.a. just the name of the monster, is enough to make it happen. So, plot. I'm just going to go off on that. Go for it. I need it done quick. I hope so. The, <laughs> <laughs> unlike the movie, uh, the, the opens up, we're back in the 60s, late 60s. A man comes knocking on a woman's door. He's like, hey, did you tell anyone about it? She's like, oh, I told my husband. Goes back to the car, pulls out a shotgun, blows her away. Asked the husband, did you tell anyone? He's like, I told Giselle across the street. Shoots him. Goes to find the next one. Goes across the street to Giselle. Did you tell anyone? Cuts to a train. Train doesn't matter. Train will matter. Cut, <laughs> Cut to a bunch of college kids. They're moving into a house because they don't want to live in a dorm. Uh, it's a boy named Elliot, his girlfriend named Sasha, and his best friend named John. Um, yes. They... They have a couple little spooky things right off the bat as they move in, but they ignore it because house party. They have a house party. Mm -hmm. And at one point, um, Sasha's friend Kim is a psychic. And she's and because Sasha's been freaking out, she's like, oh, well, she's just going to do a little seance, which somehow is supposed to cleanse the house. That's not how seances work. No. She seances also said they were going to throw some sage dead. around, but whatever. Um, yeah, where was the sage? I didn't see no sage. I saw a one lit candle and a box of tarot cards that they didn't even use. They had to make it look like a seance. They didn't have a Ouija board. They, 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 they didn't have a seance. <laughs> so, uh... Did they not get a Ouija board? Probably not. They had like $4. We actually know the history, but we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. So, uh, they have a seance and uh, Kim proves that she's the real deal. And then she's like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore because I'm seeing something in my head. Don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it. Earlier on in the movie... <laughs> Uh, Elliot, he opened up a nightstand 
um, because he was setting the coin that was on the ground inside of it. Closed the knife hand, coin fell out. Did it again, coin fell out. He's like, all right, what the fuck's up with this drawer? Pulls out, says, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it. And they pulled out that, and underneath was written, the bye bye man. He was like carved hard into the yep. wood. So during the seance, she's like, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it. That's all I'm getting, that's all I'm getting. And he's like, oh, the bye bye man. <laughs> Everything's terrible. But then we ignore that. Uh, <laughs> cut to the candle goes out. Cut to the next scene. There, he's just kind of like a little bit paranoid in bed. He's like, um, okay, so is anyone else going to acknowledge how weird that was? And Sasha's sleeping. She's like, but baby, just good night. Okay, sorry, baby, I love you. Love you too, John, bitch. What? But then he hears some. What'd you say? You're kidding, right? He hears some screaming right, kidding, down the right? hall. So he's like, well, I better go investigate the screaming as slowly as possible. So he slowly moves down and then. The screaming turns into fucking and fucking. And it turns out John's getting it on with Kim. But then he hears some scratching at the door. And uh, then he goes back to bed. Rather than investigate. Next morning. <laughs> so uh, the timeline on this is a little bit weird because it's not really clear how many days are passing. So I'm going to assume the next day. They all go to class. And they're all kind of just like freaking out a little bit. Uh, Kim goes back home. And she's like, hey, John. So uh, for some reason, we're going to mention about how you couldn't finish last night that was important to the story do you want to come up and finish now and he's seeing like maggots i'm hungry maggots maggots in her hair and he's like uh no three you mind you fucking, there were three fucking gross i'm out get it's th- not like suspiria levels of mag- maggots no. where they're all in their hair and shit like that it was three so they get back home and they they see the scratch marks in like solid brick and it's like so what the fuck is this like, ah, some pranksters from the house party it wasn't and then they they tried doing some research on it Elliot at least does, and he finds out that there was a man who that we saw in the beginning, the 60s man with a shotgun named Redmond, and he learned about it because he was a reporter, and so they showed some killed files that they had in the library for some reason, and um, turns out that the nightstand belonged to him, and that's why it said, don't think I don't say it in there, because he was previously thing, and they do some research into the bye-bye man, and what they determine is that the, they, they first describe it as the idea of the monster yeah. is its power and how it appears. But then they prove that that's wrong because by saying don't think it, don't say it, it should be enough to give it power. But it doesn't. But it's not. Specifically the words bye-bye man are what gives it power. So it's kind of like candy man like you, yeah. or Beetlejuice. Like it doesn't have any power unless you say it. So I mean you could easily just say like hey, instead of calling it the bye-bye man, we could call it a monster. We could call it the thing that killed our friends. We could call it... Dude, even uh, Wrinkle of Type did it better. They just called it the It, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like, if, if you can't name... The fucking Harry Potter, if they can't come up with the name they're, they can't say, then they just say, he who must not be named, which is specific enough that we're all clear as to what we're talking about. Well, there's an H.P. Lovecraft character called the High Priest Who Shall Not Be Described. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give me a description? Uh, he's a big squat guy. You're breaking the rules. Yeah, because like, he did that exactly. He's just like that's what his official name is. Yep. All and right. he just goes right into it. All right. So uh, the movie moves on, and everyone's having like hallucinations. Everyone's kind of like seeing things that aren't really there, and it's causing them to commit violent acts in against like, themselves against and themselves other and each other. So the first one that dies is Kim. Uh, after she kills her roommate because she told her roommate about the bye-bye man and therefore had to kill her before she spread it around. Then she's about to kill Elliot and the rest of the group, but she sees a car crash on the side of the road and goes to offer to help. Um, but turns out that's not actually there, and she gets run over by a train. Elliot... Imagination. Elliot, being stupid, is like looking like she's <laughs> running after her, holding a fucking hammer, a bloody hammer, so he's now framed for it. Carrie Ann Moss, Trinity from The Matrix movies uh it's sad that we can't really name much else that no. she's been in you know, she's a good actress jessica really jones is. well jessica jones yes but yeah you got me there uh, <laughs> i apologize because i've seen more movies with her in yeah, it too but um she's a good actress she plays a detective and then she basically is like playing along with him he's like okay look i get it i i i can't tell you this though and she's like okay fair enough you're free to go um Meanwhile, there's this whole... You could have held him. There's this whole could've subplot about oh, how me. he's paranoid. Elliot's paranoid that John and Sasha are sleeping together. And he keeps on getting little confirmation. Get off of her! Don't touch her! When he finally gets back home, he walks into the room and sees them fucking. But, of course, 
He takes a baseball bat, knocks John upside the head. But then it's revealed, oh, wait, that didn't happen. That was the bye-bye man. And I kind of like how, like, I actually did like how they kind of yeah. kept going back and forth and, the, and different was, layers kept showing back and forth. Um, but we'll then, get to that in a second. Then they, then he's like, okay, wait, I have an idea because the Redmond guy, the Redmond guy. By the way, the librarian who helped him figure out all this stuff, she learned about bye man and she killed her kids and is about to go, try to kill uh, Elliot as well. <laughs> just a knife. Just highway. Da, 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 da. Uh, so he goes to see... Come um, on, I'm going to fucking stab you. <laughs> he goes to see Redmond's wife, who never learned the name. He just... he, the Redmond restrained himself as he was describing the situation. But um, he, as they're talking, Elliot comes to realization. He's like, wait a minute. If we don't fear it, it doesn't have power. That should work. So... And for that scene, he does. Yeah, he... he the wife... Uh, the widow catches on fire. He's like, wait a minute. This probably isn't happening. And he snaps out of it, and he's like, ah. Why would you try to shoot her anyway? Uh, because to put her out of her misery, because she was burning to death. I guess. Yeah, I don't think there was a reason. <laughs> um, so then he, he's running back home, and he's like, Sasha, John, for God's sakes, don't trust anything you see. None of it's real. But at that point, both of them who have been knocked out for whatever reason have both come to. They see each other. Um, Sasha sees John as Elliot who's, like, repulsed by her for some reason, so she's just trying to get close to him. Well, he's just reacting as John is reacting. Oh, true. Yeah. And John is seeing her as Kim, who's all bloody and, and fucking, dead. Like, dead. Um, so then they start trying... She, John starts trying to kill Sasha. Just then, Elliot busts in, sees John with the si pair of scissors, about to stab down, grabs the scissors, <sighs> ends up shooting John in the stomach, but then it's revealed he was seeing stuff, too, and is actually... Sasha. Spoiler. That he killed. Whole fucking thing. Spoilers. We've never been about spoilers. I know. It's... Actually suits Joshua, Sasha, and then he's like, ah, fuck, bye-bye man, and he sees the bye-bye man. Oh, you bye-bye man. Way, the bye-bye man has been appearing the whole time. Yeah, he's... Like, in, he's a hooded figure with a fucked up face, and he has a big bloody dog. He looks like a Cenobite in training. Like, he's not quite yeah. there. Like, he hasn't got, like, the full, like... He's got a nice, he's got a nice robe and an American Eagle shirt underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like he's wearing a hoodie in the last scene. Yeah, so he... he Finally, he's like, ah, but you know what? Fine, kill me. I've lost the love of my life, and my best friend might be dead. So, and he's like, ah, bah, bah, bah. here's a vision. Not and, quite yet. And they show... Ding dong, motherfucker. I guess I didn't mention this the entire time. He has a brother with a uh, and a niece who... Um, they went to the, they, they've always been around as like emotional support. Yeah. So he ended up calling them like saying like, oh God, shit's so fucked up. So he came over and visited with the niece and was just like, hey... What the it, fuck would you bring let the us kid? in? Let us in. And he's like, no, go away, go away. And he's like holding back from trying to reveal the name because I guess he literally can't control himself at this point. I guess like, you know, there's like a form of compulsion there. I guess. But then finally he's like, all right, I know the way out. Bang, shoots himself in the head. And supposedly that breaks the curse. However, earlier on he threw out the dresser outside and that kid found the dresser. And written under side was Bye Bye Man, but it was too dark and she couldn't read it. So everything's actually fine. Except double twist. Because John did survive, and well, the detective was there, and he's like, John, you gotta tell me, you gotta tell me, because I really want to know. Whisper it, whisper it, huh? Bye, Cut to black. Bye. So, yeah, there there were... Bannigans. <laughs> mm, <laughs> oh, God, holy so, shit. So... They were really banking on a sequel there. They but. were. You can tell. Like, all right. So this apparently is based off a. Uh, <laughs> this is not based off of a novel. This is based off of a chapter in a novel. Of an anthology, uh, at least. Yeah, and it is a. Uh, well, sorry. Let me pull it up. It is a, a book uh, that's written by Robert Damon Schneck, uh, "The President's Vampire: Strange but True Tales of the United States of America." It mm -hmm. collects together eight different allegedly true campfire tales about ghosts, monsters, murderers, and hoaxes. Mm -hmm. uh, so this one apparently has this really deep backstory that we actually, I actually found uh, and we uh, dove into it, none of which is available he, here. Here's what I'm going to do. Do you want to say any of the backstory? Do you want to go through that or just leave it? If we feel like it's necessary, okay, we can come right. back to it. It's, it's not right. necessary for this movie. Here's the thing. In this movie, yeah. in this movie there were like, Four different ways that you knew the Bye Bye Man was around. Either there was a train, like the lights of a train were just around. There were the coins, which Two big old kept coins. showing up. 
Uh, and there's no reason why it should have been two. Like, it could have been a lot more. It could have been just one. It was just two for some reason. Just coins in general. Then the one that they said actually signaled him coming, like, was the predecessor to him, was his big-ass demon bloody dog. Um, whistling. Not even whistling in the movie. He was just around. Oh, that yeah, was he was just, he, like, just The whistling was in the book. And then finally him. He appears. And he is, um, like, just this creepy-looking dude with a bunch of gashes on his face. All right, so the one thing, and let's kind of go into the thing that I really kind of yeah. like about this. Oh, like really. okay. yeah. All right. Because I always try to hit the, the points no, that I like good. first. Uh, but what I like about this is the central concept behind it. Like, I like the idea of a... Uh, words have power, ideas have well, power. Well, it's not just the ideas and words have power. thing. It's just the idea okay. that uh, the thought of something mm-hmm. is what kills you. It's kind of like the idea there's a... Yeah. Uh, what's it? There was a short film done by uh, uh, John Carpenter uh, mm-hmm. called Cigarette Burns about a movie that you watch and it makes you go crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just the idea that what you're watching on screen warps your perception so much that it causes you to take like yeah. You know, like it, I, the reason I like the Bye Bye Man in concept here is because he doesn't do he doesn't directly do anything to kill you at first. He well yeah. The lore they lay down, he doesn't. He never kills anybody. He drives them insane to where they kill people. Yeah. And whether that is by virtue of he shows them things that would like, like a bloody and should be dead Kim, and obviously the dead should stay dead, so you'd be killing that. Or yeah. he drives you insane and makes you, once you realize that the only way to stop it is by killing everyone who knows, then that will make you kill everyone. Like it's, it's a catch twenty two in his favor where he will result in either you killing someone or you killing yourself, yeah. no matter what. So I like that concept where it doesn't have him directly... There's a finality to it, too, because mm-hmm. you can't get out of it. Yeah, there's no way to escape that you know it. Um, but at the same time, even though we both like really do enjoy that concept, mm-hmm. what it ends up doing in this film is the fact that it basically goes the, the route of Final Destination. Yeah, where all of a sudden, like, it, it's a... It, Towards the end, it's like flashing up more things to try to get him to like yeah. fuck up and like do something wrong. That would just like, no, it's not real. It's He's not like, real. nope, nope, I'm doing fine. I could beat you. But then at the very, like it never really showed him physically interacting with anything. He left the coins and stuff like that, which mm-hmm. is fine. But it was always just in their heads until finally at the end, it wasn't. Yeah. And it that w- part kind of fucked it. The all the, the little girl with you know with the uh, the coins and shit like mm-hmm. that. I'm like, it, and also actually you know the fact that she had saw the coins in the beginning of, of near the beginning of the movie. Yes. Yeah. Where you know the coin just rolls out and she picks it up and puts it down. Like, I get what, what was going on with the coin there to show mm-hmm. the drawer and everything. That in and of itself, I think that that was a fine ploy. Yeah. Uh, but. The fact that the little girl was doing it was no doubt in my mind that all of this was uh, supernatural. Yeah. Having said that, though, after a certain point, like I, I would honestly think after the uh, the librarian, mm-hmm. uh, especially after when she killed the kids, but like you know the moment that she was introduced, I'm like she's gonna die. Yeah. A lot of other people are going to die. Yeah. So this really is the supernatural bit. Yeah, well, my thing is, I think it should all... Like, I have no problem with it being supernatural. Yeah, neither you do just, I. Neither you do just I. have a phrase or a word that causes death after a certain period of time. Or at least insanity. We could just say it causes insanity. Insanity would often lead to the death of yourself or the other. Yeah. That's fine. I have no problem with that. My problem being is that, like we're saying, the little girl saw the coins in the very beginning. She yeah. didn't say the word. She didn't know the word. There is nothing that said that she should have been affected. There's nothing that should have said he should have existed in that house at all, except that that one piece of furniture was there. Yeah, and it was a pretty lame reason for why. Well, like, all right, so if she, if they could have come across like anything that said the words, and then the spooky stuff started happening, that would have been something. And when they sold this stuff in the very beginning, when all of this furniture got sold, I mm-hmm. saw how much this was written on all the pieces of furniture. Uh, no one saw that on the inside. No one, after no all one those years, and no, no one tried to actually look to see that. Okay, maybe there's something actually that we don't want to see that's in here or whatever it might happen to be. Like that is the thing they did. They did a flashback back to uh, Redford back when they were explaining how his wife knew about yeah. it, and it was the ceiling was covered in "Don't think it, don't say it." The couches were covered "Don't think it, don't say it," and then we just saw that the inside Ink of the night paint. drawer yeah. "Don't think it, don't say it," which I'm fine with. I don't care, but that's not. No, okay. Like, let's just say, for uh-huh. instance, that I'll 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 let that go. Like, okay. you know, I'll, I'll, I can let that go. Why? 
Mm. Under any circumstance, would he carve the Bye Bye Man into the fucking drawer in the first place if he's already doing that? On uh, and, uh, of course, I don't have a timeline here. No, like if there was a if, if this was and actually you had said this before mm. earlier on where and and I I'm more I was more agreeing with you the more we saw the flashback sequences where the fact that the, the the original flashback sequences were more interesting than the ghost story that we were seeing the here. first shot is a very long shot of just suburban home just suburban home bright green everything looks perfect and great and then a dude just pulls up shouting at the door walks back to his car pulls out a shotgun and fucking unloads tell me that doesn't sound interesting but then you get to the main story, and it's a dark, gloomy house where, ooh, spooky thing might be hiding in the car. That's, I've <laughs> seen it, guys. I don't, like, show me something that's terrifying that can happen in the, I'm not living in a dark, spooky house. I'm living in suburbia. Make me scared of where I live. That'll do something for me. And it, it's, uh... And I can, again, like, like we had said before, like, I can buy the supernatural aspect. Mm -hmm. I can always, you know, there's a certain amount of disbelief that you have going into these types of films, especially if you're going into a movie that's already selling itself as, like, this supernatural serial killer. I get mm -hmm. it. But the one thing that we constantly got undone in this movie was the fact that you constantly kept showing your hand. In other yeah. words, you kept showing your creature. One thing that... Especially if you don't have the full special effects budget to be able to pull that type of stuff off. Mm -hmm. But the design itself is not scary. What is scary about the Bye Bye Man, the concept, is the fact that it is a concept. It is an intangible, kind of amorphous thought. Yeah. That you don't have an actual look about what this is. If you, the fact that you gave it, and mm -hmm. I know this is partially based off the real true story, and this is one of the reasons why I don't think it's a very strong story. Well, even then, in the story, they never see the Bye Bye Man. No, it's, it's, it's described. It's a voice behind the door. Yeah, see, well, no, they, no, yeah, they, they don't describe, even see that. Yeah, no, they never see it. It's described to them by, like, ghosts and shit other like ghosts that. through a ouija board yeah, apparently which, it's a, so they yeah. wanted to change that into a seance so okay they're, they're contacting ghosts but at the same time though like you had this psychic character who's their only a contribution to it was that they had the seance and she goes crazy first before mm -hmm. anybody else so i'm like how why in the world would you do that with that character if she's supposed to be the special one here's an idea for you because this is something that really does mess she should have been at least the, la the last two there shouldn't think. There shouldn't have been any spooks, any scares, or anything supernatural before the first person read or said the words Bye Bye Man. Yeah. Because he should not have existed. Have Kim be more of a part of their group. If not, replace her with Sasha. Have Sasha be the yeah, Actually have her be man, an active, like active character. And then have them on their first night in the house or whatever have a seance. Because they think, oh, spooky house, let's see if there's any dead things. Yeah. And that would be enough yeah, to what? get them to do something. But no, instead they have the spooky stuff first, then a seance, then more spooky stuff. And it's like, what started this chain of events? And the reason why they decided to make hell the seance in the first place was really flimsy. It's one of the ideas where Because the like, door's well, shut. Like, let's just do it. Let's just do it because they're here and, and this person just happens to be Ugh. somebody who's connected to the spirit world. Yeah. Like, like I'm willing to buy a lot when it comes, especially <laughs> to horror films. I'm willing to, to buy a lot when it comes down to a, a horror film's sure. premise. The problem being, though, nothing about the premise in this movie, let me rephrase, okay. the premise itself was actually good. Right. The execution, you have filled this movie with typical horror tropes yeah. to a point at which that it was... It was funny throughout parts of it. And it sucks too because, yeah. and let's go, and there's a couple more things that I really love is the fact that, you know, one, the cinematography was actually very good. Yeah. It was very geometric and it, you could tell that this was very well planned. It started off a little shaky, but it picked up over time. Yeah. It's like, but the acting, mm -hmm. for the most part, it went out, except for like, I didn't really particularly care for the, the two supports, John and, uh, What's her name? Sasha. Sasha. Is, yeah. I didn't really particularly no, care Ellie, for the performances. Elliot, but... full, full marks. Also, awesome. the, the fact, how the fuck do you got Faye Dunaway and shit to be in this movie <laughs> is beyond me. Carrie Ann Moss. But, yeah, Carrie Ann Moss. And so the fact that, man, like, okay, both of them did good for what they had. I bet you only had them for one day. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, you know, they did what they needed to do with it. But there yeah. just wasn't enough material for them to work with. And the other part of it being is their yeah, character. Uh, okay, if we're saying good stuff as well. Um, yeah. I liked... 
I liked, again, the idea and of And Cleo it. King. I like Cleo, Cleo King just fine. in general as an actress. But when it came down to the, the character interactions, that's what really sold it for me. There was that whole subplot about, is John sleeping with Sasha? Yeah. Like... It barely was even a subplot. Here's, here's the thing, but they treated it... It was so much of the early movie. Yeah. It was so much. And... It made character like they all trusted each other one hundred percent going to this, and it flipped on a dime. Yeah, on a dime, and, and it was like, okay, I get it. It's because the Bye Bye Man's influencing their mind, and they're not. Yeah, so but still. But you need to have a slow descent. This thing was like she said, "I love you, John." When they're going to sleep, obviously the Bye Bye Man just fucking with things. But she said that, and then immediately he's like, "You fucking my girl? Are you fucking my wife? You fucking my wife? Are you fucking, fucking my, my wife?" wife? <laughs> That's basically it. And it, it's funny, too, because you had the characters have a massive steep progression into just, like, you know, the, you know John is just all of a sudden just like, get the fuck away! Yeah. Get the fuck away! What's wrong with you, Elliot? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Like, it's just, but at the same I'm not going to back down, but I am going to back down this one time! <laughs> but as a result of that, though, you have these extreme... Uh, mm. uh, digressions in and from where they were from the beginning like it, they're not evolving in a particular way which all right they, fine when, they're when, me when carrie ann moss is introduced they spend two solid minutes just going don't say it swear you won't don't say it, it. Don't i'm say gonna what? say it don't we, say it don't say, say what? what who's, who's gonna, gonna say what, what? i'm gonna <laughs> say the thing stop <laughs> it's not necessary it's not a game it's not a game uh but that's rhetorical out there uh but at the same time uh the issue that I had with this movie is the fact that you had that such a siege progression and you had no building of tension. Mm. You had so much of the first scares were just scratches on yeah. brick. Like, like that's not that was the first one. Okay, that was a setup, a little bit of lead into it and whatnot. You know, the bye bye man's getting his fingers and shit. He's starting to feel his fi fucking way around. Their, but their first violin, like zoom moment, was when um <coughs> he was down in the basement <coughs> and he saw something move. Out of the corner of his eye. Like he saw something move in the corner. Which, fine, great, awesome. Except I was literally watching the screen and I didn't notice it. Yeah. So it's not that much of a scare. The only thing that scared me was that. And then of course, like, you know, the the, 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 the fake out that they have later on. Where he just all of a sudden, you know, comes out from a cloak and does the pointing yeah. finger. I'm like, I called that shit like ten minutes beforehand. I'm like, there he is. There's He's going to be right there. There's a point where they're in broad daylight. The camera is trained on a window. There is no movement whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, his face appears and the window cracks. But it's so... It feels like it happens over the course of like at least a third of a second because there's no jump to it. It's literally just like... And it's one of those here. like... It's one of those PNG like... Oh, like uh, 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 spider web cracks that you can get in like a basic uh, setup. But... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know we're pretty much kind of moving into it though yeah all right so my final thoughts on this i, I it, it's it's a super solid idea i it goes i looked up a long time ago it's called a buddhist tulpa tulpa a, a yeah. creature that at gains form from belief and that is pretty much what this was doing uh there were a lot of what was the one that we did disappointments room i think where we were constantly thinking, like, is this actually happening? Is this in her mind? Da, 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 da. Yeah. It had those sort of things to begin with, but then it immediately moved off into, like, nah, this is real. This is all pretty much happening. I mean, it's in his mind, but it's not like she's going. he's going crazy. It's a supernatural thing happening. Yeah. And once you accept that, you just don't accept anything in the movie. You're just like, yep, I'm sure that's fake. I'm sure that's fake. I'm sure that's real. I'm sure that's fake. And you get it for that part. It gets to a point where you just you're not convinced by anything. Yeah. And it's not in a fun way. It's no. it's not in an ambiguous like, oh, what could it be? It's just like I don't fucking care. And, I don't believe anything you're trying to sell me. And in an acting sense, acting was perfectly fine for Elliot and several of the supporting characters. The main two supporting characters, not so much, but hey, whatever. The main problem came from the writing and how things were done. It was all down to execution, and it just did not hit the dismount. It had the, the fucking triple jump perfectly fine, but as soon as it came to the sand pit, it was like, oh, fuck. Shit. Does that count? Yeah, and then you know, the whole thing was with the, the, the direction in and of itself was also very poor because of the way that it was kind of designed. The blocking was always extremely very wooden mm -hmm. and extremely uh, uh, rigid. It always felt like people were moving on a grid. Yeah, so it didn't feel like they were actually moving as people were reacting the way they should be doing. That's just not the way that works. And, and just for the most part, it just felt like a lifeless exercise, even though it had a really cool concept. And I could see, and I was interested in the very beginning of yeah. it, but for the most part, it just 
fumbled its way through, and I just did not give a fuck by the end. Yeah, there was like some point, like halfway through the second act, was where it really started to feel like it was hitting its stride, and then it just kind of, oh wait, hold on, that's uh, no, yeah, and it just fell out. So yeah, I I would say there's no point in really watching it except if you know, haha, I watched the Bye Bye Man. How funny! What a funny name. They that's, really... that's more or less all you got going for you. So, yeah. Those are our thoughts on... The, the Bye Bye, Bye Man. Man. Yeah, and I, I, I 100% don't believe this. Like, 100%. But uh, if it were true, we just said Bye Bye Man, like, a lot. Yeah, at least twice. Yeah. So we just need to be on the lookout for hallucinations. You know, things that aren't real. We just gotta tell ourselves they aren't real they aren't gonna hurt us and uh let the other person know whatever it is we're seeking yeah i might i might be seeing it's in my head though if it's in my head, I, I can't get hurt. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die. Uh, house? Yes? What's happening? You're going to die. Contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.